people on dialysis have higher protein needs. Um, usually it's about one to 1 1.2 grams per kilogram, not grams per pound, um, but grams per kilogram of protein. So it's not this crazy astronomical high amount, but people do have higher needs. And so some of the, um, we talk a lot about plant protein, some of the more concentrated higher plant protein sources are things like tofu, tempeh, and then edamame or soybeans. Um, as far as tofu goes, tofu is going to be lower in potassium compared to those other soy protein options. Um, tofu per, if we think of a standard, you know, three to six ounce portion of tofu is anywhere from eight to 15 grams of protein. Um, something like tempeh is going, it, which is made from fermented soybeans. It's going to be a little bit higher in potassium, not much higher in phosphorus. And it's a little bit higher, you know, per three to six ounce portion is about nine to 18 grams of protein. There are, you know, of course, edamame is a little bit higher in potassium, but then there's things, um, soy curls. I think those are, you know, dehydrated, um, you know, you rehydrate them, they're made out of soybeans. But what I would caution with the soy curls is that yes, they're very great source of plant protein, but they're very high in potassium as well. So um, for per 10 grams of protein, you're getting about 470 milligrams of potassium. So that's something to keep in mind, depending what type of dialysis you're on. Again, someone on peritoneal dialysis or home hemodialysis that's getting dialyzed every day usually has more liberalized potassium um, needs than someone who is on in-center hemodialysis that's only dialyzing every other day or three times a week. Some other higher protein legumes are split peas or lentils. So per half cup cooked split peas are about eight grams of protein and lentils are about nine grams of protein, but they're around 350 to 360 milligrams of potassium per half cup cooked. Green peas, you have to eat a whole full cup of them to get about eight grams of protein, but they're a lot less potassium, 176 milligrams of potassium, and they're not high in phosphorus. Um, some other high, higher protein seeds are things like hemp seeds or hemp protein powder or um, pumpkin seeds. But again, those are usually pretty fair amount higher in potassium and phosphorus. The phosphorus is not fully absorbed, but they are higher in phosphorus. So keep that in mind. And then um, the other thing to remember too, with having higher protein needs, oftentimes we just think of these more concentrated high protein sources, but you're getting protein from other nuts and seeds and legumes. You're getting protein from whole grains, things like wild rice, farro, millet, barley, um, sprouted like breads or grains, like Ezekiel bread is going, usually the sprouted grains, those will be higher in protein. You even get, you know, some vegetables are going to have more protein than others. So it will add up throughout the day, but if you are on dialysis and if you need to concentrate on getting more protein, because that's what's being told to you over and over and over again, there are plant sources that are higher in protein and there are varying potassium and phosphorus levels. And then really it's all about balance and not forgetting that it's just as important to get in your fruits and vegetables as it is to get more protein in because we need that fiber. We need the antioxidants and the anti-inflammatory benefits of those other whole plant foods as well.